hey there welcome again to another video and thank you for passing by to our channel and in this video we're going to look at how to create this simple motion title in olive video editor so let's begin by adding a title clip so come here to the add title here and add a title clip onto the timeline selecting it and change the properties of the text type a text that you wish to selecting the text and change the size to 60 and click italic and click ok let's add a solid clip by coming back to the add here and solid and drag it on the timeline selecting the solid go to the scale under the uniform scale and check the checker in the scale x value change to 1 and in the y value change to 15 and in the rotation change to 15 as well now let's add another solid clip so come down here solid and drag it on the timeline selecting the solid you can either change the color if you wish to and change the opacity to 50 in the rotation change to 15 and in the scale change to 200 and in the position click and drag it to be in line with the little red line here okay so let's add the final text come here and title and drag it on the click and drag it on the timeline selecting it go to the uh, text editor here and change the text selecting it and change to 100 for the size and the thickness to extra bold and italic and change the color if you want to and click ok and ok now it's time to align the text with the solid so let's start with the little red solid line selecting that in the position y click and drag it all the way down somewhere here and in the x move it to be in line with the green solid line here and then in the text selecting the text the first text we added which is the white one click and drag it all the way here from the y position and the x position click and drag it here and let's do the same for the last text which is the yellow one there so from the y click and drag it down and in the x move it somewhere here and now time for the animation so let's select the first which is the little red line here selecting that make sure your marker to be in the beginning of all the clips and keyframe it and change the scale value of x to zero move the marker somewhere somewhere here and change back to one and make sure right click on it and change to base here and then select the other text which is the yellow one which is the last text we added in the position click in x value and drag it to be hiding keyframe it move the marker somewhere here and drag it out to reveal the text somewhere here move the marker up here and do the same for the last text here which is the white one in the x position click and drag hiding behind the green solid line keyframe it move the marker somewhere here and drag it out to reveal the text and right click on it and base here I think we do the same for the yellow text right click and base here and now let's go to the outro so move the marker all the way somewhere here and selecting the best text which is the uh, white one selecting that keyframe it move the marker here and click on the X position to hide the text drag and hide the text and right click on this and change to linear Move the marker up here and do the same for the yellow text. Selecting the yellow text, add a keyframe, move the marker out here and click and drag from the X position to be hiding. Change this back to linear, move the marker out here and selecting the red solid line, keyframe it, move the marker, move the marker somewhere here and change the position of the scale x to zero okay so let's change the color of the green solid to black so selecting this solid clip here change the opacity to 100 and the color to black and click ok so our final animation now as you saw let's select all this clip together and nested them so selecting them right click and nest it and since we don't have any audio ctrl l to unlink and selecting the audio clip and delete move this up and let's import a video clip onto the timeline so i have just imported a video clip onto the timeline so this is how it's gonna look like but we still have this black solid here so let's remove that so selecting the nested sequence go to the add effect here 
and king and luma key in the upper limit change to zero and we have our final animation when we have a video at the background so if you wish to change something in the animation or the text you can just simply double click on the nested sequence and brings you all the clips so you can change whatever you want to change and when you finish make sure to click on the sequence not on the nested sequence so click on the sequence and brings you back the uh, clips onto the timeline that's all for this video and thank you for coming by thank you to those who have subscribed to our channel please if you have not subscribed yet and if you have learned something from this video please do subscribe to our channel hit that bell icon and like our video so that we can produce more of this simple tutorial in olive and other video editors that coming soon thank you again and see you all in the next one